Hey, who are you? I am Owl. What are you doing here? I'm gonna appear on your application screen. <laughs> Just one. Hello friends, I'm Alafta from Easy Approach and in this video I'm gonna talk about another useful widget which we'll be using so frequently on our application and that's actually an image widget. Whenever we want to show some image on our application, we need to use uh, an image or widget. Now, I have an image of this uh, owl and I want to use it on my application screen. Now, whenever you, uh, you'll be using any image or assets in your application, you need to define it before using it. It's not just that simple that you can just uh, uh, pick, the, uh, pick the image and just use it in your application. So what I'm gonna do here, firstly, uh, here it is uh, the image of owl. I'm gonna copy it and I'm going in my project. And here I need to make a directory uh, for the assets. So go here and create a new directory and name it assets. And now in this assets, I'm gonna paste what I just copy. So that's the image of owl. So here you can copy your image. So here it is, the owl.png. Now, what I need to do, I need to define this assets directory in uh, the pub, pub spec file. So I'm gonna go here in this pub spec file, and now here it is. You can see uh, this part of pub spec. You can now is uncomment this, and as our images in this directory assets and inside assets there are images so what we can do we need to define this directory path where our images are actually so here it is so yes you need to write this but you need to take care of the indentation you can give one tab here and you can do two tab here and this is how you can uh, write here assets so, so this is it now we can go to use our uh, our image uh, in our application so i'm going in main.dart and i want to use this image in this container so what i can do i'll just remove this center child and here i need to use image dot asset and now here you'll define the path you'll give the path of the image so it's actually inside the assets owl.png now there are some properties which is very important the very important thing is fit now i want my image to fit the whole space of this container so what i can do i can use contain it will contain all of the size all of uh, the box size actually so if i um if i run it again because we have added a new image so i don't think a uh, hot reload will work in this case so you can see now our image inside the container is actually looking so cute. Now I can also add uh, some padding inside this container because it's 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 a bit it's looking a bit odd because it's taking a full space. So what I can do I can also add padding inside our container. So like uh, we did uh, margin, we can do the same way. I'm gonna use here uh, 16 pixels. Now if I refresh it. Now you can see it's looking a, a bit more better so this is how you can uh, use um, image assets uh, image actually in your application now there's there are so many properties uh, like uh, you can define here a specific height a specific width and you can play with a lot of it uh, so many properties that uh, you can have uh, uh, in this image widget so that's it from this video so we have learned almost all of the core uh, things uh, that uh, we will be using to make uh, layouts like we uh, we see column widget raw widget containers and we have also used now image widget as well so if you like the video please subscribe my channel if you want to follow the whole series you can sub you can click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification of the videos that i'm gonna upload soon thank you for watching